The Torah portion today is Re'e, See, To See, Look At, Inspect, Behold. Yeshua died so that we could look in the mirror and see value and worth in ourselves and in those around us. A blessing you are all familiar with, the ironic blessing. May Yahweh lift up his countenance toward you. So how does the Lord look at us? Hmm. Have you ever been in a conversation where the other person isn't actively listening or engaged with you? Their body is there, but they're not really present with you. Their eyes are constantly shifting to over your shoulder at something or someone else. Imagine that you go to God with your pain, your concerns, and his face is turned away like he's engaged in something or someone more important than you. But God is not like that. His face is turned to you. He is looking intently at you. God sees you. He really, really sees you. God doesn't look at the facade of you, but to the very core of you. He chooses to look at you. He chooses to care. Be assured that God sees you. God looks his smiling countenance upon you to give you his peace. Do you see the poor and the needy among you? If someone among you is needy, one of your brothers in any of your towns in your land, which Yahweh your God is giving you, do not be stingy toward your needy brother and not give him anything, for then he may cry out to Yahweh against you, and it will be your sin. So what does the Lord require? For Yahweh your God is testing you in order to find out whether you really do love Yahweh your God with all your heart and being. You are to follow Yahweh your God, fear him, obey his mitzvot, listen to what he says, serve him, and cling to him. Guard yourself against allowing your heart to entertain the mean-spirited thought that you would be stingy toward your needy brother and not give him anything. You are not to harden your heart or shut your hand from giving to your needy brother. Now imagine that you are engaged in normal everyday life, going wherever you go and doing whatever you do, and you are so involved with your next appointment or your urgent text or the list of things to buy for the week's groceries that you fail to engage eye contact with the clerk, the guys at the park, or the person in line ahead of you. You don't even notice the one in front of you because your head is down. You fail to turn your face to the other person. Your eyes and your heart are disengaged from true and meaningful conversation. The religious observance that God the Father considers pure and faultless is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being contaminated by the world. So I am challenging you to choose to look, to choose to care for the one in front of you, behind you, to the side of you, the teen one aisle over on the bus, the mechanic working on your car, the widow in the upstairs apartment. Will you see someone who is hurting, someone with pain and problems and concerns that can only be handled by our Father in heaven. People are dying every day. Do you see them? We have work to do to be his hands and feet to a lost and dying world. We are challenged to care for the welfare of one's fellow man and to help them live in personal righteousness. So who are they going to see 
when they look at you? Will they see Christ in you, the hope of glory? Will they see love and hope and grace personified? Every day we must present Yeshua as his ambassadors. Represent him to those who have not seen his face, nor heard his voice, nor experienced his presence in their lives. Yeshua's heart is that all come to him for life-giving water. Yeshua stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him keep coming to me and drinking. May he bless you as you minister to those he places in your path. Rather, you must give to him, and you are not to be grudging when you give to him. If you do this, Yahweh your God will bless you in all your work, in everything you undertake. Yahweh bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life.